Bowman here from BW1.com and we're doing a setup and first impressions of the HP touchpad. Now we did an unboxing previously for you guys that love those unboxings but this is going to have way more detailed stuff in it here so definitely check this video out. So we're just going to do a quick hardware tour once again. You can see the 9.7 inch screen, the 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. Do have a physical button here at the bottom. You might not be able to see it because it's a uh, flushed in with it's the same black as a bezel. And then here on the side you have two speakers here for stereo speaker sound. You have the micro USB port here on the bottom for charging and syncing. You have um, the volume button here and then what you would think was I thought was like a spandable storage but it's just an epic fail. I might not even be able to get this thing out which is a pain to get out but yeah it's just your serial and information not anything actually useful. Fail! Why well, have it there? Anyways, and it's hard to snap back into. You can see me fiddling with it. There we go. And I'm um, on the top here. You have the power button, and then you have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. All right, so it's quick hardware tool around. You have a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor inside of it. This has 16 gigabytes of storage. This is the Wi-Fi version. It's the only Wi-Fi version that is available. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and so on. And I'm holding it at this angle here, sort of for a real handle user, so you can see how it's really going to look as you're using it in your hand. So now we're going to go through the setup process, power it on. The device does have the latest version of WebOS, so WebOS 3.0. Okay, we're finally at the uh, setup screen here. That was a pretty lengthy boot up. Hopefully that's just when you initially started for the first time. So uh, let's go English, United States, and we'll confirm. All right, have a few networks we can join. I'll go ahead and join us up to the network here. Just give us a second. Okay, sign into the network here. Now we have to agree to the terms and conditions, and you can just you know scroll through it if you want to. If you read all that nice uh, legal stuff, I'll tap on continue, and we have to create a WebOS account before we can get started. I always hate that. It should just let you just jump in right into the device. But um, go ahead and create an account. All right, we've set up the account here, and you get some Google terms and conditions that you have to uh, accept. So if you want to accept the terms and conditions, and if you want to allow Google to auto-locate you or anything like that, and we'll just leave that off for now, but you can probably change that later. Setup is complete, and our device will restart in a moment. Okay, here we are. This is the main desktop for WebOS. So that was a lot faster than um, than initial startup, which is pretty cool. Let's see what we have here. Down here looks like we have our, our uh, quick access icons. So that's the globe for web browser, email, calendar. It looks like chat and or chatter messaging, and then photos. And then I think if we tap here, slides up the menu for more, for more apps. You can get your uh, Facebook, Kindle. Let's see, downloads. We can app catalog. And, go add some more stuff features settings so I'm, I'm going through this for the first time just like you guys would so um and then noticing when i'm when i'm holding in the hand here it it, it it the accelerometer is very sensitive i've noticed that just like the littlest slightest tilt and it, it just automatically rotates the screen and it's a little bit on the, a little bit weighty yeah, i'm not saying your hands gonna get tired but it, you definitely feel a little bit of weight on the uh on the touchpad here so let's open up the browser I should turn it this way. You can see the on-screen keyboard there. So um, let's actually turn it this way instead so I can type a little bit. We'll type like this way. We'll go to bw1.com. And we'll hit enter. Let's see if the full page or the mobile page comes up. Oh, the full website comes up. Actually, that's pretty fast. And we're almost loaded for That's pretty good for a um, tablet browser. Right, you can see there, scroll through, and the device does have flash support. So if we go to the recent view here, Droid Incredible 2, turn it this way, slide it up and down. You got zoom in and pinch and zoom. Tap on pictures for it to come up here. Let's see if we can get one of these videos to pop up. We've dosed like half, but I know that's a YouTube video. Let's see if we can get it to play. Let's 
still waiting for the page to finish loading. There's a lot of. There we go. It's not playing too well since it's only got half of the video up, but at least it does play Flash. We'll uh, we'll take a look and see how well that works. So we'll head on home here. Let's see if we can pause that. There we go. Pause that there. Head on back. All right. You can see this. Open up something else. Uh, photos. So I'm just poking around just like anybody else would when they first get the device here. So you can add your like a touch pad. Looks like you can add a uh, Facebook photo, Snapfish, and stuff like that. Photo bucket. All right. Let's see it go. Go to wallpapers. You know those are always fun to look at. Swipe between the ones here. A little bit slow in the animation there. Well, that one's pretty cool. Try to zoom. Rotate like that. Oop. Looks like I turned it off by accident. Turn it back on. Check out the unlock screen. All right, let's rotate this back. Drag it up to unlock, there we go. And um, rotate it around this way here too. Head on back home. And I know you can do some fancy things with it as well with the multitask, and I think we can hold this down and, yeah, we can stack on top of one another so for better grouping. And we can also just swipe away, so I think if we, we can unstack it if we stack it, hopefully, I would assume. And if we don't want that anymore, so we're done with the browser, just swipe it away just like that. So that's just a quick look at the HP Touchpad. Just poking around and doing some things in it. My first impressions, it's pretty interesting. Um, I, I sort of like the way the OS looks. I definitely want to get more familiar with it. I want to master it, master OS 3.0 and see how useful it is. Definitely not on a touchpad. I think out of uh, most um, tablet operating system, I think WebOS has a lot of potential to be, pre to be pretty good as far as being on a tablet. Definitely gonna check out some applications and stuff like that. So um, definitely stay tuned by subscribing to our YouTube page here. Hit us up on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, uh, hit us up on our main site. The links to all that are obviously in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.